In this Flying Noodles, I load the family up in an RV and we head to East Texas and Recklaw, the Recklaw Fly-In. Welcome to Flying Doodles. This is where we give you a tour of some aircraft, interview the owners, and then take you up in the air for a flight. So buckle up and let's go for a ride. Well, welcome to a special family edition. I've got my RV stored here at the family property. Uh, there it is right over there. So I'm gonna get it, bring it over, load up the family. My dad, my mom, and Goose is my dog. And uh, we're going to Reclaw, which is one of the wild west of fly-ins. It's pretty amazing. I think you'll be excited to see it. Great, the cows see me, they're headed here. The RV looks in pretty, oh, they think they're getting fed. The RV looks pretty good shape. Looks like a cow took a poop on it though. It's parked out here at my family's ranch. And this is our family's dog graveyard. So Goose is, uh, you'll see him in a minute. This is Goose's um, litter mate and brother, Maverick. Miss him a lot, he was a good boy. Uh, died of cancer last year. But you can see the rest of our family's dogs are all buried here. Is it? You guys are in the way. I'm surrounded. You guys are all young. Here. Here. Anyway. So I'll introduce you to the family in just a minute. My dad has Alzheimer's and it's pretty bad, so kind of keep that in mind. But, uh, I mean, it's pretty bad. But I'll introduce them in a moment. All right, oh, water's already full. So uh, we'll turn this off and we'll get going. Eating hey, boots. Well, I will introduce you to everybody in a moment, but that's Goose, my dad, Jim, and my mom, Vicky. We'll do a little bit of a better job introducing when we get there. I store my RV at my family's land near Quinlan, Texas, which is about an hour east of Dallas. So we loaded up and headed even further east into the piney woods of East Texas. The place we're going is called Brecklaw. That's Walker spelled backwards. I'm sure there's some reason behind that. I can't remember. I, I think I was told it once, but I don't know. It's the Flying M Ranch in Recklaw. It's a privately owned airstrip, and it is a fly-in. Basically a bunch of uh, people bring in their own private airplanes and uh, just have a good time for the weekend. About four or 500 airplanes they're, they're expecting, maybe more, because uh, it didn't do it last year, I guess, because uh, of COVID. But it's about 150 miles east of Dallas, south of Tyler, and uh, so it's a little over two hour drive in this thing, but I'm uh, gonna fill up on gas real quick because I wanna keep over a quarter of tank in, uh, in the RV so that the generator runs. Pretty much 100 bucks fill this thing up every time. Especially, well, in Texas, it's not bad. It's like three bucks a gallon. You got to California, it's like over five. But anyway, uh, still a little over an hour to go. I'm pretty sure that's where a cow pooped on my RV. Just projectile poop. Getting narrower, so I know we're getting close. We're only about uh, seven miles away. You look at me like I'm crazy. There are several different areas to park in Reclaw. They have the airplane camping area and then the RV area as well. I found a nice spot on the edge of the property and set up camp. With your colors, they kind of tell me what I'm thinking. I fell in love with the way we are and the way we lose it. There's something different about us, and the reason why we stay, stay. We fly. We had a view of the approach into the runway right from our RV. All right, all settled in. So I'll introduce you to the crew here. This is Jim White, my father. <laughs> Say hello. Hello. Yeah. How are you? He's a former corporate pilot, retired now. So. Really? <laughs> when, when did that, that, that happen? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> then my mom is over here. Say hello. Yeah. Hi. 
My first time here. Yeah, she is a retired uh, uh, real estate mogul. Uh, cool. Semi-retired, anyway. She's Semi -retired. A, one of the one of the top uh, real estate agents in Dallas. So we're gonna go check out the sites here in a little bit. So, active runway is just a grass strip here. I'm not sure how long it is, actually. I'll have to look it up. Uh, I might be a little thing popping up right now. But uh, a lot of these people just fly in and then park their airplanes here, bring a tent and hang out, or people come in their RVs or do a little both. Somebody will fly in, somebody will drive in, but it's a really cool thing. Oh, 3,400 feet, it says so right here. And uh, it's a pretty cool event. It's every year. It's kind of the Wild West of flying. That one hurts. That hurts a little. I knew that I saw the pictures of it. Somebody did a, a tail wheel, did a little ground loop, and uh, when did that happen? Here. Is it this time? Yeah, it happened a couple days ago here. Oh my god. So it's really busy out here, so they have like a little uh, impromptu air traffic control tower right there. It's kind of interesting. All right, so registration's right there. It's uh, $30 for a family, $20 per person or 25 or something, so um, we paid 55 bucks, not too bad. It really is neat checking out all the airplanes on the fly line and of course the impromptu air shows as well. I know that airplane, that's Doug Jackson, or he get the, that's his old one, I think he's got a new one. So this area is the Reclaw Regulars. Uh, how long have you guys been doing this now? Uh, we've been coming here in this spot for, I think they've been doing it for five or six years. I think it's, okay. it's correct, you have to ask Rusty. So it's it's a whole crew here and it's a lot of fun. I hung out with these guys last time I was here. I'll film some more of that later, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it'll be a good time tonight. I'm good sure. times, come Eat on back, pig. eat pig. Yeah, we'll do it. I mean, I'll look at one of those. That guy was hauling butt through here. Now we're going to look at airplanes. This is my friend Doug's airplane. We actually flew that for my show Flying Doodles and filmed it in the air. All right, so we're heading over to the Rec Raw, Rec Law, Reg, uh, we're headed over to the Rec Law Regu... Jesus, can't say it. We're headed to the Reclaw Regulars uh, camp for dinner. They've got that pig going, and uh, should be a fun little night. My dad's really enjoying this. Uh, he hadn't seen any of this in a long time. It kind of brings back memories. I can see he's real happy, but sometimes he gets confused, so uh, he's doing all right, but it's good times here. Hey, Goose. Gooser. How you doing, man? You ready to go for a walk? Let's do it. Come on, Goose. I wish to be so much I wish to be, I wish to be me. Hey guys, but again, thank you all for coming out for the Rec Hall regulars. We kind of got a big group going here that keeps growing every year and we love it. It's always a lot of fun. <laughs> all right, so here's what I'm doing standing up here is we have, this year we decided to do a little fundraiser for the Rec Hall regulars to give to the Masons for their 36th annual uh, fly-in. You know, every year we always wonder, is this the last year that we're gonna be able to do this? We've got a GoFundMe online. Donate some money. We're gonna go tomorrow, probably during the, uh, the during the Mason's little dinner thing they do, and give them whatever's in the GoFundMe. And if you have any cash, if you'd rather do cash, see Tim Terry, give him some cash. We're gonna give them, you know, here's a lot of cash, here's GoFundMe money, take it use it and this is on behalf of the rec law regulars that group over there that makes too much noise <laughs> you always talk about all the time. we're here to help you we have a good time we want to do this forever anyway uh we're ready to go if you guys are ready to go we'll start lining up over here we'll eat
It was a fun first day at the event, and the airplanes keep flying right up until sunset.